Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today I'm here at the Stadium of Light to watch the Weir Tees derby between Sunderland and Middlesbrough in the Championship. Should be a cracker, so let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I'm here with Dan, aka DB30 Sports TV. So he covers football all over the northeast. Bit of an expert of uh, this part of the country, uh, but we're here today to watch Sunderland versus Middlesbrough in the Weir Tees Derby. That's what I've described it as in the intro. Is it is it a derby? Um, well, if you look at social media, both sets of fans seem adamant that it isn't. I mean, obviously for. Sunderland especially, there's uh, more of a thing with Newcastle. I mean, personally, as I mentioned in my own video, um, I've seen Newcastle play Mid uh, Middlesbrough, I've seen Newcastle play Sunderland, and uh, I can tell you that uh, the Newcastle against Sunderland uh, game, like in terms of intensity with the atmosphere, etc., was a lot, a lot more than what it was when uh, Newcastle played Borough, it's, it's, it's a strange one for Borough really because uh, I don't think they're really anyone's main rivals, I know that the fans aren't particularly keen on Leeds like because uh, historically uh, there's a bit, been a massive debate is Middlesbrough part of Yorkshire, is it not part of Yorkshire um, so but I think obviously there's not really that much of a dis not much in terms of distance between Sunderland and Middlesbrough geographically so, and uh, from what I've seen at Millsborough train station this morning, what I've seen in, in Sunderland City Centre, uh, it's been it's had quite a bit of a big game feel to it. So uh, really looking forward to this day. Yeah, there's a big police presence around the city as well. Do you think it's going to get a bit heated in terms of in the stands and on the pitch potentially? Yeah, potentially. Um, I think um, I know Borough were a little bit disappointed with the allocation that they got, which may or may not have a bit of a de detrimental effect on the atmosphere. I mean, personally, I hope it doesn't. Um, but I think for Sunderland, uh, aside from the local pride, the bragging rights or whatever that's at stake, it's a massive game for them, and one that really they need to be winning. Otherwise, I think they may end up being caught a little bit adrift of the playoffs in the championship. I mean, rather the results day, the, the hopes aren't over. Like this league is absolutely mental this year. I mean, I know you've covered a, a couple of a couple of games out maybe at Blackburn or, or Burnley or whatever. Um, and it's, um, it's it's anyone's guess as to who's going to get in the playoffs, but yeah, I do think Sunderland need to need need to win today, and I think the fans will give them that push that they need. Well, it's really tight in the championship at the moment. Both teams at the moment fighting for that spot in the playoffs. How do you see this one ending in terms of a score? Uh, I think because they're at home and because they need the win, I do fancy Sunderland to edge it. I'm going to go for a one nil to Sunderland. Right, well, I will, uh, I'll leave a link to your channel in the description. Everyone go and subscribe to Dan. He does great content, as I say, all around the North East. But yeah, should be a crack of this. Let's get straight into it.
huge chance for Sunderland that to take the lead. Middlesbrough gave it away at the back and they got in, but yeah, just wide the post. First proper chance out of the game so far. Sunderland thought they'd taken the lead, had the ball in the back of the net, but given offside. Sunderland definitely by far the better team in this one so far. Had one huge chance and then the offside goal, so yeah, they're looking most likely to take the lead. Oh, good save. Borough's first real chance in the game, that forced a good save. Oh! Great save. And it's half time. Sunderland nil, Middlesbrough nil. Good chance for Sunderland to take the lead there uh, just before half time, but we'll chat to you in a second. Okay, so half time here at the Stadium of Light, and it's currently Sunderland nil, Middlesbrough nil. And it's not been the greatest first half that in terms of general sort of overall quality, but Sunderland have had by far the better of the chances. Don't really remember Middlesbrough making too many chances, one that sort of forced a good save from the keeper but yes Sunderland have had by far the better chances now it's three or four of them um, that should have probably made it 1-0 uh, here but you know it's yeah it's not been the best game hopefully it improves in terms of quality in the second half it's not really got that derby feel either a few um, sort of decent challenges flying in and stuff but I think the atmosphere can hopefully step up a bit in the second half and hopefully we can get some goals, but yeah, we'll see you on the other side at full time. Surely that's a penalty. And it is. Penalty to Sunderland. Red card as well for Borough. to Sunderland and Borough are down to 10 men. Oh, and it's been saved. And he's followed it in. Sunderland, Ross Stewart had his penalty saved initially but then converted on the rebound. now to Sunderland, Ahmad Diallo getting the second goal about 10 minutes, just under 10 minutes to go before the end of the game, I was about to say that Sunderland need another to make sure the three points, because Borough were getting into it a little bit more, but I think that's the game killed off now Sunderland 2, Middlesbrough 0. Chat to you 
in a sec once we get outside. Okay, so walking back to the car now after the game and it finished Sunderland 2, Middlesbrough 0. And um, I said at half time that you know Sunderland had plenty of chances to, to take the lead going into the break. A um, couple of unlucky offside calls and then a few clear cut chances that they missed. But um, they stepped up in the second half, played with real intensity at times, looking like they were going to score every time they, uh, they went forward. But you know they, uh, they found the opening goal penalty which uh, was initially saved and then followed in by Ross Stewart and then Ahmed Diallo adding the second to seal the three points for Sunderland in the Weir Tees derby. Uh, Middlesbrough on the other hand they weren't great to be honest I've seen them play a lot better um, on a couple of occasions this season but yeah they weren't great I don't know if it was the occasion getting to them or whatever but um, yeah didn't create too many chances of note a couple one in the first half I think maybe a few in the second half but I think it was more Sunderland how well they played limiting the chances that Middlesbrough had but yeah pretty entertaining game overall and uh, serve three points for Sunderland but guys if you've enjoyed the video please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one